Wired for Weather on WRL TV 5. WRAL TV. This is Action News 5. And folks, this is water, water, water everywhere. The big story in North Carolina today. And what you're looking at is a live picture in the Crabtree Valley area from Sky 5. The results of a storm that has left its mark as Mother Nature has decided to play rough. Good evening. I'm Charlie Gaddy. And I'm Adele Arakawa. It started early this morning. A slow-moving storm that dumped tons of rain caused widespread flooding and churned out at least three tornadoes. One of those twisters ripped through a community which was near Goldsboro. Scott Hansen joins us now with a live report from there. Scott? Well, Charlie, uh, earlier this afternoon there were storm warnings out for Wayne County, and sure enough, around 1.30 this afternoon, a tornado came out of the southwest sky, moving northeast, cutting about a half mile of destruction in this area, beginning with Jerry Davis's house here. It's well, that crucial gets 24-hour attention. But yes, one way or one way or another. <laughs> well, who? Yeah. Blub, 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 blub. Well, finally, your rain dance must have worked. You know, we all have our little nervous things that we do. Look at that. Look at that. Did the floods cause you to do that? Oh, I don't know. I just like to have something to play with. Bob's on vacation, by the way. Yes, he is, and uh, he always picks the exciting weeks to leave. This is almost now the wettest August since the Second World War, and they're right on the heels of the worst drought of the century. Ever since I've come here, the weather's been messed up, says uh, Ray Wilkinson, and uh, today another example. We'll be back to talk about exactly how much rain we got and how much more we can expect in just a minute. These two brothers were separated as babies, and even though they lived in the same neighborhood, they never met until now. On the next BM Magazine, discover how a series of coincidences led to their reunion. Then, ever since this caterer became Cosmo's Bachelor of the Month, his love life has become a fantasy come true. Join Susan Darlene and special guest Tina Selden for the next BM Magazine at 7.30 on WRAL-TV 5. You gotta wonder what it is about this part of the country the last few years, uh, either feast or famine, either way too much rain, not enough, and certainly today another example of that, and unfortunately we still have a little bit to worry about tonight. 79 was all we could muster today, of course when it rains 48 inches across the area, tough to get a lot of sun. And before I talk about the rest of the statistics, we're supposed to talk to Frank Beal, who's up in northern Wake County. And Frank, there are a couple of light showers that are still up in the northern part of the state. Can you see any of those from where you are? Well, right now, I'm over at Falls Lake and definitely had to get the galoshes out this morning, about four inches out of the airport. Take a look outside and uh, you can see the cloud cover. It's moved up north and uh, looks to me like that stuff's building up and the potential for some rain uh, up in that area, up to the northern counties, looks pretty good. How about it, Greg? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, sort of what's left over of the system that we had earlier today. In fact, maybe it's fair to say that this is the wake of the storm that we had earlier today and view of where he is. Well, anyways, the high was 79, low was 70, we're at 77 now. The humidity at 87%, pressure is steady, winds out of the southeast now at 9 miles per hour. And we'll take a look at the recreational lake levels, which uh, came up a little bit, but nothing all that dramatic. All right, let's take a look at the uh, rainfall amounts, and all of these are from 2 a.m. this morning, and that's when most of the substantial rain moved into the state from the south. And you'll notice that everybody got some, but a couple stand out like a sore thumb here. Almost three inches at Fort Bragg, over four at RDU, and eight and a third in Durham. And all of a sudden you wonder, well, why did it happen only in this chunk of the state and not everywhere else? Well, uh, we did a lot of research today to find out at least what contributed to it, but I'd be uh, really fooling you or trying to fool you if I told you I knew all the answers as to exactly what happened today. But here is at least what we were able to observe. We've been talking the last couple of days about a general area of low pressure over the southeast with a trough extending up the coast, loads of moisture coming in off the Atlantic Ocean, and the fact that every time a little disturbance came along, it acted on that moisture and produced a good deal of rain. This was the large scale pattern, but something smaller scale started to happen about seven or eight o'clock this morning. There was a big cluster of thunderstorms over the southeastern part of the state. The rain was very heavy. And about seven o'clock this morning, a little trough of low pressure started to show its ugly head 
pointing its way up toward Cumberland County around Fayetteville. By 11 o'clock this morning, we could actually observe a closed circulation around that low, so it was getting better defined, and then it headed northward up into Wake County, reaching its maximum intensity about 3 or 4 this afternoon. Now, just ahead of that low was where very, very heavy rains and thunderstorms occurred, and the low wasn't moving very fast. Moisture was abundant, so it sat over the same area hour after hour after hour and produced all those tremendous rainfall amounts. What exactly made that low form in that area and move up along that track? That's a PhD thesis for somebody across the street. Not enough time to figure it out today. Well, let's go to the radar and see what's left of all of this mess. And we still have a few light showers in the northern part of the state and down here in Bladen County and up into Sampson County, but obviously nothing like what we had earlier. All right, let's take a look at our conventional weather map for today. And again, we have that little low pressure area sitting.